You are a two liter stainless steel beverage bottle. You keep my water cold for drinking all day. I thank you very much. The NFT market, always controversial. I wanna buy bottoms. I made a video on the NFT market capitulation bottom before. The bottom is not a price, it's a region of time, okay? You wanna be closer to the bottom than the top. You know right now, no one wants to talk about JPEGs, no one wants to talk about NFTs, unless it's in a fun, lighthearted matter and there is nothing lighthearted about it. Everyone's lost everything. It does feel like we will never see that irrational, euphoric exuberance in the crypto market again. It just feels like that. I'm like, oh, you guys, did you guys pay $400,000 for a JPEG? Ah, now before I read Rand's comment here, so look at this, okay, just Rand. He's, so Rand is a friend of the channel. Crypto Rand obviously owns one of the biggest uh, YouTube channels, Crypto Banter Show on YouTube. I think they're going to be millions of followers one day. I want you to know, okay, by the way, Rand is a marketing genius. Rand is very smart. Do not be fooled by Rand. Just because you see him excited at the tops of cycles like everybody else is, do not be fooled. This guy knows. Watch how he interviews people. Watch how he makes different colors on his sets. Look at the timing of the videos. I'm telling you this. He is a trained killer assassin. Every time Rand makes posts, you just see all these haters going like, oh, oh I don't like this guy. Man, they got nothing. You guys, you want to tell you something about Rand? Rand, <laughs> he interviews people. <laughs> You don't even know. Rand is 10 times wealthier, not exaggerating, literally 10 times wealthier than them from crypto, from his holdings. Rand got into the Chainlink ICO, the BNB ICO. He got, I think, Phantom early. He got a lot of things early. Yes, he got destroyed in Luna like everybody else, but he knows what he's doing. It's just, it's funny. He's, he's so, he's master when he speaks to people, friends. He, he will bring on people and and he'll massage their ego, and then they think they're smart. And I'm sitting there like, bro, we should be listening to Rand talk. Why are you talking? It's funny. So Rand is he mentioning, I'm just thinking back to the time when people thought it was a good idea to buy a limited edition rocket ship in an NFT game that still doesn't exist for over $200,000. Wow. A game that doesn't exist, a limited edition rocket. Oh, isn't that just perfect? That just summarized the whole crypto NFT market. But friends, tongue in cheek, tongue in cheek, of course. I appreciate every single one of you. Lost. I bought some JPEGs too. I actually bought the top of the market. I made a tweet to show you. <laughs> you can go back and look at it. I said, guys, I am causing the top of the NFT market. It was around December 2021. And I said, I'm actually buying JPEGs now. I spent a couple of ETH around. Eighth round. So yeah, I actually did it. I actually said, I am the top signal. You want my blood? You got it. I'm capitulating on buying JPEGs. And I said, yeah, that was it. So look, NFTs are just what they are is you see, are oh, they JPEGs? No, 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 no. They're more than JPEG. Don't buy them. Don't buy them. I'm just telling you. NFTs are just blocks of altcoins. Okay. They are an order block of an altcoin. You see this? See, I'm making squares here. Yes. Yeah, so instead of buying into a market cap of a community, you're buying a into you're buying a block in an access into a community. So you can just add up all the JPEGs and just multiply and you get the market cap of the community, just like everything else. So it's all about obviously Metcalf's law. The more viewers, the more eyeballs, the more people that come in and want to buy and or like observe something, the higher valuation it's gonna get. That's what it comes down to. Now please, please, please don't go buy JPEGs. Why? There's no real communities there. They were just telling you we're going to be here forever. So they really were the 2017 version of ICO altcoins. They're, the, they're in what we saw in 2021. They're, they're basically, yes, the ICOs where they say, we're going to change the world of dentistry. We're going to make Dragon Chain. We're going to do AI robots, you know, and all this AI stuff back then. No one did anything. They just ran off with the money. So I don't like them. Why? I don't know any altcoin communities there. And... They're inefficient to buy. You gotta buy blocks of them. You gotta give me a real good incentive to do that. Now, there are, obviously, there are a very few amount of NFTs that have survived. You've got the Miladies, I think you've got the Penguins, you're gonna have the CryptoPunks, but that's three. There's like 400,000 that have literally gone to zero. So we're gonna wait and see what new NFT tech or types of like innovation they can do in the next cycle. Here we go. Jory saying Richard Hart did warn us. They didn't listen. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I mean, I think, honestly, I couldn't find anybody in crypto who didn't say JPEGs were going to go to zero. <laughs> I'm not joking. It was crazy, friends. 
We all said they were going to zero, and then the, the cycle still happened. So it's funny. You want to know why? Just to let you know, I've seen these, this, I think it's called a Venn diagram. I've seen these diagrams where this is our market, altcoins, right? Altcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum. And then this was the NFT market. It was a whole new bunch of people. It was people who had no idea about crypto anything. They just came from the real world. They were real normies. So that's why they came in. It was full emotional money. Now, this is the craziest part. This emotional money was like, yes, I want to buy $20,000 JPEG. I want to buy $50,000 JPEG. Like, it was crazy, man. They actually just like, yeah. Like I told you, man. I told, what I tell you, friends, in a person's brain, right? We have peanut brains, okay? But in a normal person's brain, when you have the dopamine spiking up, okay, they will go do whatever it takes to get into the community. Because we're, we're, we still have the reptilian brain. We're still trying to get into, into the, the tribe. We've got to impress. We've got to do something. I want to follow the herd, okay? So that's super important. Mr. Flawless saying, deep down, you know, we'll see it again, just in another form. It shape shifts, shape shifts just like the lizards can. Yes, and I did mention, it will come again, and you are right. But let's hope we are actually early next time. Man, I saw these JPEGs moving up, and I was like, man, I'm not paying one eighth for a JPEG. Then they went to like five eighths, but I still have no regrets because I didn't get it. There were like so many viruses and scams in all of their discords. You couldn't trust anything. But you know what you can trust? You can trust an abomination website like this to be the way of the old. You look at these advertisements. What's this weird stuff? Like all these just weird advertisements everywhere, friends. Like this is this is what mainstream people look at. What's, what's this video going in the bottom right? Is this a porno? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Look, this is what's what's going on? How do people watch this, man? So that article, that abomination that you see, that is, that's why the traditional media is going to get screwed. You see, they're spamming advertisements out there and they're just interrupting you like trying to read something, man. You know what I mean? You can't separate them. But what we can do with Web3 and NFTs in the future, Web3, NFTs, okay, is what you can do is if everybody has a digital wallet and then you connect to the website, they can say, hey, you know, to read this article, it's just going to cost you one cent, you know, or five cents or 10 cents. Like, I'll pay 10 cents to read an article. I don't care. 10 cents, it's nothing, you know. Now, they can measure it out to see how much profit they can make from everybody who, who reads it. And you'll be able to remove all the ads. You have clean, seamless viewing. In fact, you'll be able to reroute stuff. Now, this is only with the power of crypto. This one nice application in the future, but they're all boomer media and they don't really care, but it's going to happen in the future. What's that article about? NFT crash. 95% of the market is now worthless, study finds. By the way, I'm not even kidding. It's 99.9% .9 of the market. It's not 95. Okay. Justin Bieber's um, board ape plunges 97%. So, Soy Boy journalists say ne have now confirmed the bottom. This is a very common trope in, like, you know, investing. When when the the, the people writing these articles, they are the fine, like, they wait to the very ends. You know, they're like, we got to wait until I have all the pieces of information. I want to, like, th they're not in the business of speculating. They want to guess nothing. They want all the information to be out from the top to the bottom. Then they make the information. But when that's all finally confirmed... Now it's time to turn. Me and you, friends, we are on the future looking side. So this is journalists on the left-hand side. They're out here. Okay, they're soy. They drink soy. We are up here. Okay, we are high beat, high um, high test protein drinkers. Okay, so here's a protein. So we are future looking. Okay, future. We're always trying to guess the future. So yes, sometimes you get it wrong, but you're trying to always see, okay, where the trends are going, how are things moving on to the future? We're trying to speculate on stuff. Are things cheap or expensive? That's our mindset. We're always forward, forward thinking mindsets. But what about the NFTs? Well, remember the NFTs were just altcoin mania on repeat. 99.9% .9 of those altcoins didn't return. So that's why I'm telling you, yes, they're in capitulation. Yes, it's game over for NFTs. They will come back. However, which coins, which NFTs? If we go back, I've mentioned this many times. I will tell it to you once again, friends, because I love and appreciate you. If you go back, so yes, there was a de there was an enormous DeFi season here, an enormous DeFi season that happened here. Just to let you know, you did not make anything if you bought XRP, Litecoin, Tron, EOS, Monero, anything from 
this cycle, that moon, even XRP, XRP did 500X here, 500X in one year, it was still useless in the DeFi 2020 season. So that's what I think. If this is the NFT market, now we're going to enter towards the Bitcoin halvening year. Now, I think there's going to be a new set of stories and narratives. Not mean I think, I mean, we know this, okay? We just know this. It's going to be new story, new narrative. That's what's going to come. So I'm waiting for the new round of NFTs. Maybe they're going to change a tech. Maybe someone's going to put a cool new feature. Maybe it's going to be linked with something. I don't know. I, look, the best approach to have is don't even think about what you want to see because I have no idea. Just, just I want to just, I want to be browsing Twitter one day and someone says, have you seen this cool new NFT feature? This can change the world. And then you read it and it might be like, wow, that's really cool. I can see a lot of DGENs buying that. There you go. That's all you need. Someone talks about this feature and you read about it. You're like, okay, interesting. Okay, but right, right now we don't see it. I don't know what that feature is. Remember, even Soylana. Soylana was one of the moonshot unicorns from the last cycle. It appeared, they launched it in 2020. So there are big, there are big applications and big money out there, friends. They haven't launched yet. They wanna, they want to launch. They're gonna launch in the next year. Trust me, they're going to launch in the next year. They've already got the application. They've got everything done. They've got all the people working on it. They're not going to launch yet. They're going to wait until the Bitcoin halving. By the way, AI is getting very, very nifty now. It's getting insanely accurate. Just like six months ago, they couldn't do the hands right. Remember, I like this Asian chick just jam jumping around. It's just crazy. Look at the hair. What's coming next? Now, they all look AI-ish, but I mean, it's just, just a matter of time, man. Matter of time. Okay, we got to pump real music, by the way, you know. Don't forget, friends. Don't forget. NFT market. Yes, we want to buy it. Yes, there's capitulation, but don't jump the gun yet. I like sticking to the core, core blue chips. You can do whatever you want. When 2024 arrives, we're just going to see new stuff start appearing, new rumor articles come out. We're going to do the best that we can. Make sure you like, subscribe, press the belly button. And all, I appreciate every single one of you. Shock that algorithm. Tell mom and dad, we love and appreciate them. Catch you next one.